चले आई कम बैक टू इट लेटर लेट स्टार्ट सो जी माई नेम इज़ जवाद अहमद फरीद एंड आई थिंक आई बिन डूइंग दिस फॉर अ वाइल नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर रजिस्ट्रिंग इन टू द क्लास एंड ह्यूमरिंग मी विथ फिलिंग इन दसाइनमेंट्स दैट यू हैड टू फिल इन दिस इज़ अ इंटरेस्टिंग कोर्स इन द सेंस दैट एवरी टाइम आई टीच दिस आई गेट अ लॉट ऑफ फीडबैक फ्राम स्टूडेंट्स एडमिट आई गेट अ लॉट ऑफ फीडबैक फ्राम स्टूडेंट्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू के बहुत मुश्किल काम है बहुत तकलीफ दे है बहुत देर लगेगी दिस इज गोइंग टू बी एन इशू इट्स गोइंग टू बी नाइट मेयर बट आई थिंक बाई टाइम वी एट डन अबाउट फोर मंथ्स लेटर अबाउट नाइन्टी परसेंट द स्टूडेंट्स आर एबल टू सॉट ऑफ गेट टू द मिनिमम स्टैंडर्ड एंड आई थिंक अबाउट टेन परसेंट एक्सीड दैट स्टैंडर्ड एंड सरप्राइज मी सो आई बिन डूइंग दिस नाउ फॉर अबाउट फोर ईयर्स एंड द प्राइमरी ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ टीचिंग दिस कोर्स इज टू गिव यू अ सेंस give you a flavor of what the startup lifestyle is like what being a founder is like and the desired outcome is actually two states one is that you are or you become or you become quite sure that being a founder is not for you and that's perfectly fine right so a part of the experience is focused on identifying finding out looking inside and discovering whether you want to be a founder or not and if the course can help you decide can this is not for me then that is a great outcome uh, an alternate outcome of course is ki you say yeah this is good fun this is something which is of use and of interest and i would like to uh, certainly explore this further and that's also a reasonable outcome right so the first class is essentially focused on answering some basic terminology questions um addressing and fixing some myths and common misconceptions and um and then to start the conversation so i think the game plan is ke it's i think we have till 1 o'clock so i'll i'll give you a break in the middle for about 10 minutes once i finish the first part of my lecture uh and then we'll come back at any point in time if you have questions if you have issues if you have comments if you have queries something's not clear feel free to stop me just unmute your mic and pose a question and we'll take it from there okay so shall we start bismillah kare let's see if there's anybody else there no i think we have everyone here ji yes sir ji the class is being recorded zoom pe bhi record ho rahi hai main bhi record kar raha hu i am doing the same thing and salman abid enter Okay. All right. So, um I think the first question and this is I think the most important question is in your mind and in your opinion what is a startup? What does a startup represent? How would you define it? You know if you went back home today after the class and your parents or your siblings or your loved one asked you ki ji kya kiya aapne aaj what did you do today what did you cover today and you said I had a class on startup and let's say you know your dadi or your nani or your phuppo or your phuppa ask ye kya hota hai what is that so how do you explain what a startup is tell me open question to the class uh, uh, i would say it's a small scale business okay uh, executing an idea okay yeah you know, using a new idea all right good enough anybody else it's a business idea with uh, potentially a lot of uncertainty around its uh, business model okay fair enough a business that doesn't have an established flow yet okay good so the general rhetoric that revolves around startups is that it's either a new service or it's an improved version of the of an existing service okay that's also good enough or um, anyone else i think it's a service that solves a problem mhm mm who was this uh this with me mahin mahin okay thank you mahin ji I'm sorry if if you focus on the word itself that it means to start something that might be aimed at solving a problem or is providing a service or a product that can be anything it's it's a very broad concept i would say yep koyar anyone else so i think there are there are almost all of the definitions that you've used are actually correct um, there are no problems with them 
um, but you also have to think in terms of okay, what would a startup do, right? What is involved in building one and running one? And when you answer that question, that question basically focuses on the heart of the problem. Okay, what is it that a startup actually does? So what do you think startups do? Karate kya hai? Ji, Mubin. Go ahead, Mubin. Sir, I think the main thing is that uh, a product is being sold and other factors like are not as important as the product itself. Okay, fair enough. All right, so um, if I were to take a step back, what I would say is, and you know, there are multiple definitions. There's one gentleman, his name is Steve Blank. He teaches at Stanford and he's sort of one of the big thinkers in this space who's been sort of in fashion for almost two decades. Steve has a very interesting definition. Steve's definition is that a startup is an organization which is in search of a solution, right? Um, and it has a sort of a, it has a predefined problem space. And in that space, it says, you know, maybe the solution is on this side. So it goes from point A to point B in search for that solution, right? This is A and this is B. And then they say, okay, um, is the solution here? And you say, no, the solution is not here. This is not correct. So it goes from B to then C. Uh, and then it again evaluates the condition says, are we here? And you find out, no, we're not here. This is not the solution. Then it goes from C to D. Uh, evaluates and says no that's not true and then it goes back to point E right and it keeps on sort of going around in this iterative loop till it gets to a point where the boundary condition is solved and you say okay I found the solution right so a startup is basically an organization in search of a solution right in search of a recipe uh, to a problem uh, and what that problem is something that you know uh, is going to vary from one person to the next, from one startup to the next. But the key idea is that you're basically something, an organization that's structured, that's geared towards search, search of a solution for a problem, right? And that's sort of like a functional definition. So almost all the definition that we use, it's a new business, it's an idea without flow, it's something that's looking for a solution, it's something that is starting up, something that is uncertain, something that is... Uh, solving a complex problem, something that's starting off from scratch, from zero, something that's building up. All of these definitions are perfectly fine. Uh, a functional definition, a definition that describes what you do is the one that we see here in front of us. Okay, so that's one. So now the next question becomes, okay, you know, startups are start started by founders. So what do founders do? So startups solve problems, right? They, they search for solutions. They search for solutions for a given problem. But then, what do founders do? What do they do? What is their role? Founders look for the problems. Founders look for the problems, that's fine, that's one. Once you found the problem, then what do you do? They originate the idea, I would say. They originate the idea, okay. So they iterate. Yes, so I think in a startup, founders do every, every part of the, uh, the work. In a startup, founders do everything, right? They do all the work that it needs to be done. That's also a good definition. They try to make it possible for you to search for the solution again. They make it possible for you to search for the solution. Okay, good. So I think uh, one question, you know, just, just on the side is, so <laughs> I've been teaching for four years and I had this rule in my class when we did this physically you had to be in the class within the first 10 minutes, right? You've seen those rules before, correct? Online may be hi chalta hai na, ye nahi chalta. Does that work or that doesn't work? I don't think that can really work because uh, say somebody gets kicked out of the Zoom meeting or uh, their internet, they're having internet issues or something like that and they have to rejoin, so um, how are they supposed to do that? No, no, if you get, if you're in here and then you get kicked out, that's perfectly fine. You know, that I can understand. But if the class is supposed to start at 10.30, shouldn't you be here at 10.30? That's my question. Um, but so yeah, I want to make sure, sure that, uh, that a student uh, is arriving uh, the first time in the class or he was just kicked out during the first eight minutes, then he rejoined again. How are you going to make sure of that? Oh, exactly. no, 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 that trade you can give me. I, I see who's coming in and who's coming in and who's sort of re-entering, right? I can see that. 
दैट आई रिमेंबर इतनी तो मुझ में याददाश्त है कि आई नो कि कौन पहले आ गया था तो वैन आई स्टार्ट द क्लास ऑन टाइम आई नो कि कौन कौन क्लास में था आई हैव अ सेंस भैया सो आई थिंक आई विल हैव टू कम अप विद अ पॉलिसी फॉर दिस ताकि वी वी डिस्करेज लेट कमर्स एंड आई थिंक दैट्स वन बिग की रोल इन रियल वर्ल्ड इज दैट इन द रियल वर्ल्ड इफ यू आर ऑन टाइम यू आर लेट so especially in the founders world in the startups world in the world where i work when you work with partners customers clients or investors the basic ground rule is that if you have a 10:30 meeting you should be there at 10:25 um so it just to make sure that you know when you can walk in on time and 10:30 could possibly come 10:31 but it's considered very impolite and in certain cultures for example if you go to the far east if you go to china if you go to the middle east if you late if you go to england for got you know europe for that matter or germany Uh, if you are late that is a really considered an insult to your host so remember that we'll figure out some workable functional way of sort solving this problem um and i'll possibly get one of my tas or co-hosts to sort of come in and keep an eye on this but aski class is an exception so everybody is being allowed in uh, but from the next class onwards there will be some kind of a threshold uh, once you miss that threshold you won't be allowed back in all right now coming back to fun जी बोलिए मैटर and you're not on time uh, so for example i hire people right we do interviews uh, in our organization if you come in for an interview and you're not on time you're done we won't even you know bother taking the test or carry on with the conversation let me say thank you sir thank you very much you lost your chance and while there may not be many organizations like this in pakistan but there are some the ones that are really worthwhile that can change your life that can sort of really get you to up your game all of them are sticklers for punctuality so if you can't be punctual and understand and first week of class you know bijli ka masla hai aur bahut sare masle hain all of those are you know understandable reasons but if you expect something like this happening ping me on whatsapp all of you have my number let me know ki sir ye ho gaya hai and i can factor that in uh, but in general i think to work well and it's not for the purpose of this class it's not for habib university this is for life you have to learn to be punctual on time all right so now back what do founders do we are talking about what do founders do so writers write sprinter sprint painter paint what do founders do it's fine i mean problem uh, solutions to the problems theek hai yes like as mentioned by you they fail they fail there you go and who was this harun sir harun to harun aapne syllabus khol ke pad liya se matlab yes sir yes sir <laughs> <laughs> this is this was a trick question <laughs> that's what founders do i have also attended quite a few talks by you and this is one of the lessons that i have taken okay founders fail okay so now when i say why do founders fail you remember the the problem that we just spoke about earlier right where we said okay can you just repeat what or what was just previous she stated what what are actually for do founders fail so founders fail um So sprinters, if if you go back to the statement, writers write, sprinters sprint, painters paint. What do founders do? Founders fail, right? Um, and that's the word. Right? They fail. You know, it's like if you ask me, if I am uh, if I'm a computer scientist and I have done a four-year degree in computer science and I'm joining an organization and they ask me, Beta, what do you expect to do with your hands every day, right? So you start. We give you a job. We give you an offer. You come, accept it. You join us and you start working. What do you think you'll be doing on day one? and your standard answer would be i think i'd be doing something with to do with programming or coding or development right or designing something in the broad domain of computer science so if you say i'm going to be a founder i want to grow up to be a founder what's the one skill set that i need to acquire uh, that skill set is failing and this is really funny right because you know when you think in terms of our traditional thinking and our mindset our culture our society agar aap se koi ye kahe ki ji meri specialization is failure <laughs> तो आप क्या कहेंगे आपके घर वाले क्या कहेंगे राइट right? आज मैंने क्या सीखा आज मैंने सीखा फेल होना एंड दिस इज समथिंग दैट 
we really don't teach in our and not just in our society large part of asian society failure is sort of like a taboo agar aap you know honestly speaking if you think about this from grade 1 to grade 13 or 12 depending on you've done os or as or metric or inter uh, and then at the university uh, the expectation the feedback loop the mechanism that sort of feeds that feeds yourself feeds society gives feedback is essentially ki aapka grade acha hai right um so you know a a minus b b plus b minus tak bhi guzara ho jata hai c is not considered a great grade d is terrible and an f is just like a slap on the face that's that's the culture that we grow up in so historically speaking we've never been trained how to handle failure it's not a skill set that is acquired but if you want to be a founder that's something that you have to learn to do is if there's one thing that you need to be really really good at it's at failing does that make sense yes 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 all right so now when you say okay um founders fail right then i think the question becomes ki ye kya what does this failure involve so if you remember i said earlier ke uh, what is a startup a startup is basically an organization that structured that's geared towards finding a solution correct so aapka solution is you know your your point is to go from this is let's say our point a this is a and this is point b ye maze hai aapka right ab you have to solve this maze to aap kaise solve karenge um you can start here this is one path that you're trying to solve but it ends up in a dead end to ye kya hua fail ho gaya na aap if the task of your startup was to find a solution and the solution that you're looking for is here is to get to this end state b the first path that you pick was a dead end phir aapne dusra try kiya ye bhi dead end nikla do dead end ho gaye phir aapne teesra try kiya ye bhi dead end ho gaya फिर आपने चौथा ट्राई किया राइट ये भी डेड एंड हो गया तो अब इसका सोल्यूशन कहाँ से मिलेगा आपको हाउ डू यू फाइंड अ सोल्यूशन ओ सो यू ट्राई दिस सो यू गो फ्रॉम हियर राइट दिस इज वन नाउ वी गेटिंग समेयर आप कहाँ जाना चाहिए क्या ख्याल है आपका कहाँ जाए नीचे जाए अगर इधर जाएंगे तो फंस जाएंगे डेड एंड इधर जाएंगे तो या this looks like the right path yes yes and there we go so kitne attempt lage hame that took about what five or six different attempts to get to this point now you could eyeball it you could look at it you could try and see it um you could try and see ke agar koi aur tarika hai right but ultimately the only way to get started is to walk a path so you know this is easy because you have a full view of this but as a founder when you're starting at this point in time you don't have this full view you only have a view that says ki bhai aapke paas teen path hain ek seedha rasta hai ek idhar ja raha hai ek idhar ja raha hai pick one right so now if you pick this you end up in dead end pick this end up in a dead end and even if pick this there were other areas for example here at this point in time you have two choices you could go here or you could go here so at each point in time you made multiple calls and each of these folks in the road if if i go back for lack of a better word it's think of this as a tree some part of the tree sort of lead to a destination that will work for you and there are other parts that don't right so now if you think about this you could make a case that says ki ji aap if you're a good maze builder a puzzle solver if you're a good tree parser uh, then you'd be a good founder but that really doesn't answer the question the real question is ki when you put in the effort when you go all the way from here to here to here to here to here and then you end up at the dead end here you have two mindsets your first mindset which is a common mindset is ki oh crap i failed what do i do now and your second mindset is oh good i failed 
So I know this path is not going to work out. So I can cancel it out, and I have, I have to go back. And but going back all the way from here to here to here to here, right? And starting all over again is part of the mandate. That's what it means to be a founder. ये जो mindset है ना this mindset, this mindset of failing, then getting up, then trying again, then failing, then getting up, then trying again, then failing, then getting up, then trying again. This is the key. And unfortunately, uh, we don't teach this. I mean, I say we don't teach this, as in we don't teach this as parents, we don't teach this as families, we don't teach this as teachers or as universities, as academia, or even at work. Uh, there are lots of organizations where, if you actually fail, it's actually taken as um, a, a stain, a dhabba. It's not something that you should have on your file. It will not be looked at as positively. when your you know when your career is assessed when you are sort of picked up for a promotion or or not not a promotion right um and you will hear two words or a term used again and again when you think and look up research and innovation and that word is a fault tolerant organization you know i'm so naive kabhi और फेलियर टॉलरेंट कल्चर हैव यू हर्ड दीज टर्म्स बिफोर जी नहीं कभी भी नहीं जी बोलिए बोलिए पूछिए in my opinion i think that's one of the biggest barriers that one would uh, have to cross in order to fail so let's say uh, if i talk about myself i would rather the if not about myself about the general student i would rather cheat and pass the course instead of failing it <laughs> because i know if uh, i have to repeat the course i'll have to pay for it but i cannot pay for it i only have certain amount of money and that money is enough for me to take this course only once how do i overcome that barrier so i think academia is geared towards um passing students right i think jab maine class mein pehli dafa padhana start kiya tha habib mein and i this was my first class and i think 4 4 1/2 5 years ago because you guys are the fifth batch i'm teaching um so in the class i said ke bhai aapne ye karna hai aap ye nahi karenge to fail ho jayenge and uske baad jo hangama machata hai and you you'll see that in the syllabus there are a couple of instances in the syllabus where i say this okay you know this is the this is the requirement so your for example 50% of your grade is your final project and your final project is is actually quite quite awkward and engaging so the first time i put that final project up right there was there was not a lot of students and all luckily all of them had come in because they were there by choice they all wanted to sort of see where this course would go zamane mein this was not a mandatory and compulsory course so it was an elective तो 20 बच्चे थे क्लास में आई थिंक एंड आई सेड दिस इफ यू डोंट गेट 10,000 व्यूज ऑन योर यूट्यूब वीडियो देन यू विल फेल दिस कोर्स एंड आई थिंक दे ऑल वेंट एज अ डेलीगेशन टू द डीन एट दैट पॉइंट इन टाइम एंड देन द डीन कॉल मी कि आपने क्या किया ये आप क्या करने की कोशिश करें एंड ऐसे सर आप फिक्र ना करें uh, ये बच्चे कर लेंगे सो द फर्स्ट बैच द वेरी फर्स्ट बैच यू नो सेम बैच दैट दैट वेंट अप एंड आम सेंग कि जी uh, ये तो हो ही नहीं सकता दिस इज इम्पॉसिबल यू नो द ग्रुप दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ वन द प्राइज at the end of that course with the highest views guess how many views they had hum baat kare 2017 ki baat kare 2017 they made a video the requirement for the course was that you should get at least 10000 views um and their video got certain number of views so guess how many views were there kitne honge aap khayal mein 60k ji 50k 60k ji anybody else so they passed the course right that meant they could cross the 10000 threshold but question is how much did they cross the 10000 threshold by so they have no rules sure uh so it was all organic you couldn't possibly use a paid search mechanism right and so one answer is 100k so 50k 100k g koi aur anybody else half a million apne half a million yet हबीब यूनिवर्सिटी के स्टूडेंट्स हैं फाइनल ईयर के स्टूडेंट्स हैं 2017 की बात करें दे रॉक स्टार्स बट दे नॉट 
as big rock stars as as you think they are or they were at that time <laughs> so i think i think the final number was yeah, about so uh, the final number was about 240000 views that's his arky requirement he did 240000 uh the final number was 240000 views can you hear me आवाज आ रही है आपको ओके सो नाउ आई थिंक देर आर टू पार्ट्स जो आपका सवाल था ना हाउ डू यू ओवरकम द फेलियर माइंड सेट आई थिंक द फर्स्ट थिंग इज एज टीचर्स एज इंस्ट्रक्टर्स वी अंडरस्टैंड कि फेलिंग द कोर्स हैज अ कॉस्ट एंड अ लॉट ऑफ अस डिस्पाइट द फैक्ट दैट यू नो यू विल हियर मी से थिंग्स टू द कॉन्ट्री अ लॉट ऑफ अस ट्राई आर बेस्ट टू हेल्प टू गेट यू थ्रू द कोर्स राइट वी वॉन्ट यू टू पास नो नन ऑफ अस वॉन्ट यू टू फेल द कोर्स एंड इन इवन दो दिस कोर्स इज largely spends a lot of time on failure my intent is not to fail my intent is to help you sort of get there right that's one part but the second part is you also have to think that you are able that you're capable that you think this is something within reach right so i'm 50 years old and um i started running half marathons 3 years ago and the first time i registered for a half marathon um i didn't want to run the half marathon i actually wanted to run the 10k I thought the 10k would also be a stretch, but I said, "Chalo, 10k to make it longer." But when I went to register myself, I found that the group that I ran with, almost all my friends, everybody was running the half marathon. And I said, "Kya, I'm alone. Kya doorunga by myself in the 10k? I might as well just register for the half marathon." Nahi hogi, to nahi hogi. Chal longa. I'll just walk. And to my surprise, you know, I finished it. I finished in a really bad state. You know, when I came home that day, uh, I couldn't sort of climb up the stairs. I then I was knocked out the entire day. Sara din mein sota ra. my my valen my parents my wife my bachas everybody was really upset ki kya ho gaya mar to nahi jayega ye kahin right and that's what it felt like <laughs> when i finished it that's exactly what it felt like that i was dying or i would die but i did it curly ab ek dafa curly when i finished i said never again right but yet next year i was there again and then again right so i've been running them now for 3 years uh, and you know people ask me mai dimag kharab hai tum pagal ho gaye ho you know my father says ki you 50 years old act like a 50 year old you know longer 16 years old my wife says the same thing right so a second part is the mindset ki you think you can and i say this you know i'm not being racially insensitive or being politically incorrect but there's a big difference um in our mindset and the mindset of people who succeed and that difference is the people who succeed think that they can they know that they can that they will that they will prevail right and the people who don't succeed normally say ki yaar ye nahi ho sakta this is too risky ye mushkil kaam hai you know i'll have to be very uncomfortable so you know example for training for the half marathon basically means that i need to run about 7 months a year i have to the months before and after i have to do about 70 to 80 kilometers a month in mileage that's difficult and awkward especially if you have a full time job but agar karna hai to karna hai right So I think the second part is the mindset. I think the third part, and that's the most important part, is an enabling environment. So you know, when you go to somebody and you say, "Ji, I'm going to reach for the stars," or "I'm going to settle a colony in Mars," when you start that here, your normal reaction would be, "Kya? Your normal reaction would be, 'Pagal ho gaye ho? Dimag sahi hai? Are you mad? Do something sensible.' You know, it's like when you go back, you're a CS or a double E major, and you go back home and say, 'Kya? I want to be an artist.'" I want to be a creative specialist. I want to be a game designer, right? Things which are sort of off the normal path. What's the normal reaction of society when you go off the normal path? क्या कहती है? कोई तुमसे शादी नहीं करेगा. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one, right? So, so you get the drift, right? So, I think the enable a element is mindset, a element element is enabling environment, and then a element is also understanding what is required, what does it take. So, if you want to go to Mars, you can't just go to Mars. You actually have to start thinking in terms of what are the many smaller problems you have to solve. So, if you look at Musk, for example, right? If you look at Starlink, if you look at Starship, if you look at um, um, recoverable boosters, these are all small problems. and these are all small problems that add up to a point where it becomes viable and feasible for him to go to mars and in the process of solving all of these difficult problems so you know when everything when in the beginning when musk said i'm going to put up a colony in mars most of us including myself said ke pagal hai bilkul dimag kharab hai iska ho hi nahi sakta 
but the way that he sort of picked a path across all of these difficult problems and the way he's made money right so right now in terms of net worth he's the richest man on the planet he surpassed warren buffett he surpassed jeff bezos he surpassed bill gates sabon ko chhod diya usne piche and if you thought about this maybe a year ago or even 4 years ago uh 3 saal pehle jab tesla was in a lot of trouble when they hadn't sort of hit their production and manufacturing milestones a lot of us thought that he'd die broke that he'd lose it all right so i think ek bada element is there is this big element this big question of okay, do you think you are able to um i'll say this thing a little later in the course also uh, every dream has a price it's not ke sare khwab adhure ho jate hain kuch khwab aise hote hain jahan pe if you willing to pay a certain price you would be able to achieve them question is are you willing to pay that price so if you willing to pay the price all the dreams that you can dream of can become real uh, if you're not willing to the pay price to phir kuch bhi nahi hoga nothing's going to happen theek hai ji all right so now with that uh, let me let me give you ji bolie uh, long mask ke wale se bas ek wo baat ki kahi thi ke उसकी identify is if you think in terms of his exposure right so if you think in terms of uh, autonomous vehicles that's tesla right if you look at ev which is electric vehicle that's also tesla if you look at solar power that's solar city or solar i think solar ka bhi ek venture hai uska that's two then he has this thing called the boring venture right the boring company which is basically trying to uh, create a path an underground path between la and san francisco which is all cut down the the transit time from agar aap aaj aaj jaye to it will take you about 8 6 to 8 hour drive to go from one end to the other end right but with the boring company it'll just be a couple of minutes and then there is starlink which is basically cheap internet across the globe and the concept of starlink is ke first they'll do the starlink around earth usse paise banayenge aur phir un paison se they'll put a starlink around moon and then then put a starlink around mars right um so that's for uh, and then you know there's this flame thrower that he's been working on so he has he has he has like nine or 10 different pro- problems or challenges that he's picked up and spacex is just one of them uh, spacex maybe you are thinking you basically reduce the cost of a launch about 100 times and by the time he's done he'll be down by 500 times right to to bring that level of of efficiency in an industry which was essentially um, think about this for a second you know he took on the military industrial complex and he's still alive किसी ने उसको मारा नहीं नो बडीज किल्ड इम राइट थिंक अबाउट फॉर सेकंड इफ यू इफ यू थिंक ऑफ एवरीबडी हु हैड टेकन द मिलिट्री इंडस्ट्रियल कॉम्प्लेक्स हेड ऑन व्हाट हैपन टू देम एंड व्हाट हैपन टू टेस्ला आई थिंक ही जस्ट टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ वेरी बिग रिस्क कंपेयर टू अदर यू नो लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल बिल गेट्स और सब उनकी एक ही बिजनेस है उसी में उन्होंने काम किया हुआ है एंड इलॉन मस्क जस्ट कीप्स डूइंग अदर थिंग्स एंड थिंग्स जो भी दिल चाहता है वो ऐसे कर देता है तो बेसिक चीज़ ये कि हमारे मुल्क में और हमारे कल्चर में सोसाइटी में वो लोग जो जो भी दिल चाहता है कर लेते हैं उनको हम क्या कहते हैं नहीं रिच नहीं कहते मलंग मलंग कहते हैं मलंग है मलंग इज ए मलंग सो नाउ इफ यू थिंक इन टर्म्स ऑफ वर्ड डू फाउंडर्स डू यू नो द फाउंडर्स द मानता फॉर अ फाउंडर इज एसेंशली वी कम अप विथ a thesis we build something that we can use to test that thesis and we try it and if that thesis fails you know we go all the way back to the start and we restart again this is the life of founder that's what we do and that's how we build products ideas and businesses in the real world formulate a thesis build it try it fail and repeat and to a large extent this is what the course is about so the ideas that you've sort of picked up and that you're trying to work on that you identified can we spend kaam karenge in almost all of those ideas the key essential theme is going to be the same that 
you will create a thesis that says ki ye ho sakta hai ya yeah, isme interest hai ya yeah, you know i think i can possibly take it to the next stage and in that within that specific context you're going to come back and you're going to say all right so what does it require for this to work i have like 10 assumptions or 15 assumptions so i need to then validate those assumptions and see whether they're true whether they'll hold and if they're not true if they don't hold then i have to play around with the recipe i have to sort of mix and match things till they get to a stage you know going back to our puzzle here right i may need to try a different path and see that whether that path works or not and ye this element of building trying failing and repeating is a challenge it's a challenge because most of our experiences are very linear right for example most courses that you take the formula is very simple uh, curriculum kya hai kitab kya hai past papers kya hai previous exams kya hai pehle kya pucha tha um, professor padhate kis tarah se hain and um, you know as long as you put in enough time in those 6 7 8 areas you're done you get your grade but life doesn't work like that right life doesn't work in the sense ki it's not just a question of picking a good idea and putting in hard work there is a lot of other ambiguities and i think this is the other part which is really really important is and which is a challenge that in general the most successful of you ambiguous right most successful of us have a really high tolerance for ambiguity ambiguity is cheezein that are not clear where there is no clear where where there is no visible answer where there is a lot of uncertainty around ke sahi jawab kya hoga and then to sort of jump in to sort of in search for that solution and find that solution right so people who have a high level of comfort with ambiguity tend to make good founders and people who want everything you know crystal clear structured laid out in the beginning right who don't want who don't like uncertainty who have a low tolerance for uncertainty right tend to not make good founders now the reason why you have low tolerance for uncertainty and ambiguity could be many four bahut sare factors ho sakte hain jaise agar mujhse puche aap to jab maine kaam start kiya tha when i graduated from fast in 1992 which was many many years ago um my father said ki apna kaam karo i said nahi mujhe naukri karni hai because at that point in time i had zero tolerance for ambiguity i had been basically a, a broken hungry you know bhukananga student for 15 years and i wanted to you know 15 thi zyada para 10 saal school ke 2 saal ye aur ha 15 saal 15 saal se main padha tha i was 21 years old i wanted a paycheck i wanted money that i could spend not just on my own but also on my parents i i was done being poor right and in my mind my take was ke um the only way out of this is through a salary and my father said abba said this to me ke naukri mein tumhe paise nahi milenge and naukri is not going to be sort of fair to you and i said you you may be absolutely right but right now my tolerance for that is not there i'd rather work and get a paycheck so i worked for 5 years 5 saal maine kaam kar liya 5 saal ke baad i got to a stage where i said okay now i understand what my father was saying and maybe i need to look elsewhere and look outside and explore and that's when that journey started for me and that's when my tolerance for amb- ambiguity sort of came into being so just because you're not in that mindset right now does not mean that you'll never be in that mindset and this is another common challenge that comes in this course people come back and say ki ji mujhe to karna hi nahi tha i didn't want to be a founder i didn't want to be an entrepreneur i don't want it i didn't want to do a startup why do i have to take this course and i tell them you may not want to do it now but at some point in time in your life you may have to and when that time comes you know you'll go back to the lessons learned from this course and hopefully put them to work so i'll give you an example um 1999 and we'll hear the story multiple times later me i was at columbia and at columbia so this is new york at columbia i started a business called avicena which was an e education business or an online learning business and shuru mein didn't start with avicena its working title was actually kukaracha and we'll talk about that later that's another story for another time so Avicenna and Kukaracha started in 1999 and they basically failed in 2001. So 2000 mein business doob gaya aur phir then I worked in the US for another startup and then I sort of sank them into the ground also and then I started Alchemy. And Alchemy I think we ran from 
2000. Still, Alchemy is still around as a business, um, but we sort of focused on the product side from 2003 to 2008. And then one of the products we built was something called Pakistan Risk Review, which was basically focused on commentary, analysis, and insight on data from Pakistani financial markets. Right? And then Pakistan Risk Review led to Oil Insights, Oil Insights led to Learning Corporate Finance, and Learning Corporate Finance led to FinanceTrainingCourse.com. Now, if you think about this, this one idea, this original idea, the Kukaracha Guide, right, 1999 to 2012. If you think about the journey, this is about a 13 year journey, right? Where that idea took multiple shapes and forms and paths and ultimately found its home uh, as a functional, viable, profitable business as FinanceTrainingCourse.com. So it was a 13 year journey and that's just one of the ideas, right? So one of the things we said about Musk was, you know, he, he picks things, does things, identify things that he wants to work on and he has many of them in the fire where he's playing with them, right? So SpaceX ek ho gaya, Tesla ek aur ho gaya, Boring Company Tisri ho gaya, right? Um, Solar Chauti ho gaya. Uh, so most founders also, you'll find, are not focused on one specific thing or don't have one poker in the fire. Most founders have maybe two or three ideas that they're working on. And then one idea sort of takes center focus for a while. And as it takes center focus, they sort of grow it and build it. So, you know, Avicenna was center focus for two years. Alchemy was center focus for 10 years. PRR was center focus for maybe about a year. LCF and FTC have been center focus for about 10 years. So if I look at theme, I'd say Ye, Alchemy, and FTC. In pay, Alchemy I've put in 17 years now. And FTC or finance training course I've put in 10 years. So these are the two business ideas, primary business ideas that I'm working on right now. Or well, have been working on for a time, right? And they've sort of been filtered out of multiple ideas that have worked over a period of time. Does that make sense? Does that highlight the point that I was trying to make? What do founders do? Yeah, yes, it does. Yeah? Yes, sir. Okay, all right. So now this doesn't just work with ideas. I also write. So uh, I've done multiple books. And one of the books that I was working on started off as financial modeling for founders. Where do we go here? Yeah. Started off with financial modeling for founders. And that sort of came about in 16, August 2016. But to get from financial modeling to founders to founder puzzles took about four years. And that's about the first edition. Or the revised edition, the book that you're reading right now, right? which is prescribed for your course, came out in December. And if you think about this, this August 2020, is the first time I was studying this course, right? So in preparation for that course in December 2019, I think I wrote half the book. And then the remaining book was sort of sort of filtered and finalized over the next six to seven months. And then July July, it finalized and then August it launched. Okay? So the same concept works with books and with ideas. One of the other thing that comes out of this course is, and I've made you, I've forced you to pick ideas to work on. And I keep on telling you, both in the syllabus and in this course, I'll keep on telling you to pick ideas that you want to work on, that you're interested in, that you're keen on. And by doing that, the concept is that this journey this journey that you'll start today, um, it may not end up in something viable or functional in July or August or by the time you graduate. But just like my journey, you don't know where you will be at what point in time where you would be standing 10 years later. Right. So now, core lessons, key takeaways, kya hai? what is a startup? What do we do? We iterate through solutions. We we iterate through solutions. That's fine. We look for solutions. We're an organization that's looking for solutions. And what is the life cycle? Where does it start? Where does it end? The entire process of trial and errors. 
starts up with a thesis and you devise a solution you try it out if it doesn't work you find uh, you try and find another solution mm-hmm. and do the same very good all right so typical jo lifestyle hai aapka for a startup has multiple phases right and these are your key phases so abhi jo jo stage mein aap hai na that is what we call the problem definition stage you've picked up an idea you think i'd like to work in this specific space let's see where it goes you want to explore this so ye jo hamari puri journey thi na ye wali humne start ki thi yahan se you sort of keep on iterating till you get to a solution this gets repeated for each of these stages so the problem definition stage is ki i have a broad definition how do i narrow it down to something that i can solve that i can fix right so i think some of you came to me and said ki hum ye kaam karna chahte hain i said ki cha ye na karo iska ek chhota sa piece le lo and just focus on getting that one piece right and then once that once you've gotten that one piece right right because you've sort of created a laser sharp narrow focus all your attention is focused on this one specific point once you've gotten that one piece right then you can possibly explore the opportunity or the option of doing something more with it but get that one piece right right so the problem definition part is essentially ke leke kahan jana hai chalana kaise किस पे काम करना है कैसे काम करना है यू नो हाउ यू गोन पुट दिस टुगेदर हाउ यू गो वर्क विद दिस ऑल ऑफ दीज एरियाज ऑल ऑफ दीज क्वेश्चन ऑल ऑफ दीज चैलेंजेस कम इन द प्रॉब्लम डेफिनेशन ऑफ पी डी स्टेज राइट एंड दैट्स वेर यू आर राइट नाउ एंड द आइडिया इज के इन द नेक्स्ट टू टू थ्री वीक्स वी शुड बी डन विद द पी डी स्टेज यू शुड बी श्योर कि हाँ दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम दैट आई वो नो सॉल्व दिस इज सॉल्वेबल आई कैन अटैक इट इट्स मैनेजेबल एंड आई कैन टेक इट नेक्स्ट स्टेज दैट्स वन इसके बाद अगला जो स्टेज आता है ना वो आता है प्रोडक्ट मार्केट फिट तो आपने प्रॉब्लम तो आइडेंटिफाई कर लिया राइट जैसे अगर हम किताब की बात करें गो बैक टू दिस बुक राइट फाउंडर पजल्स सो कोर आइडिया क्या था कोर आइडिया वॉज कि आई वॉन्ट टू टीच फाइनेंशियल मॉडलिंग टू फाउंडर्स राइट बट द प्रोडक्ट मार्केट फिट वॉज वॉट प्रोडक्ट मार्केट फिट वॉज देर आर लॉट ऑफ बुक्स ऑन फाइनेंशियल मॉडलिंग हाउ वुड अ बुक फॉर फाउंडर्स बी डिफरेंट वॉट वुड अ बुक ऑन फाइनेंशियल मॉडलिंग फॉर फाउंडर्स इंक्लूड राइट एंड सो ये जो ये पार्ट है ना आपका दिस इज सॉर्ट ऑफ लाइक अ डिस्कवरी फेज ये वाला फेज राइट जो आपका पहला फेज है स्टेज वन जो लेट्स कॉल दिस ए सो स्टेज ए इज अ डिस्कवरी फेज स्टेज टू इज बेसिकली योर फाइन ट्यूनिंग एंड ट्विकिंग फेज वेयर वॉट यू रियली ट्राइंग टू डू ट्राइंग टू से अच्छा हाउ डू आई मेक इट वर्क so that people will pay money will we will, will buy it well customers will sign in people will use the product right what is it that i have to change so for example you know with technology uh, one of the common you know, biggest problems that we face is something called onboarding aap sab logon ne ek saal guzara na teams ke sath Yes. I think just one semester. One semester. One semester. Right. How was that a like really cool and good semester? Was a very painful experience. No, sir. Painful. Painful experience. It was terrible. So when you compare when when you compare teams with Zoom, दोनों में क्या फर्क है? Much better UI. So yeah, the UI is much more. आपके पास गॉड फॉर बेड अल्लाह ना करे आउटलुक का अकाउंट नहीं है एंड यू वॉन्ट टू स्केटिंग ऑन टीम्स डू नॉट डू दैट कैसे करेंगे Start a meeting. Send somebody. Send somebody the link. Yeah, that's simple. That's simple, right? So, with with teams, it's a nightmare. So, Microsoft ki sabse badi weakness, and this is not just for teams. When they launched Windows 10, Windows 10 was God, my God. I think I tried four times here to upgrade it to Windows 10, and all four times I said no over my dead body. And then I had somebody, I had a friend who was visiting for Microsoft, and I said, "Ki khuda ke waste go fix your onboarding for Microsoft." Windows and this is you know, we talking about five six seven years ago, जब ten उन्होंने शुरू में you know when they started pushing it out. अब I want tens because you know अब तो कोई you you can't buy a laptop without ten on it right. 
Um, but onboarding has always been a challenge for Microsoft. And one big element of product market fit is figuring out a lot of factors, starting off with onboarding, start off with pricing, starting off with what, what is the thing of value that you offer to your customers. So once you figure this piece out, where you actually have customers, where you have people who are willing to pay for using your product and service, then you get to the next stage, which is scale. So how do I go from, let's say, 100 customers to 100 million customers, right? That scale. And then, you know, there's the expansion part. And the expansion part is essentially, ki ya to aap expand karenge, ya aap denge. So you will either become um, Zoom, or you'll take the path of WhatsApp and Instagram, where you'll sell to Facebook. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So Zoom is still an independent entity, right? Uh, and they've become very valuable, especially over the last year, year and a half. Like uh, in WhatsApp and Instagram, both sold out to Facebook. So you have two choices. One choice is expansion, ki, which is you say, I've solved one problem, now I want to solve more problems, right? Or one choice is you have exit. Ki. Somebody comes to you and says, I'm going to write you a check. I'm going to make you an offer that you can't refuse and you take that offer on. Does that make sense? Yes, sir, it does. Okay. So, you know, what I when you, and this is true for most founders, building a business, building a product, being a founder, it's a very, it's a very gut-wrenching experience. You give a part of your soul to build a business. And, and when I say this, you know, I'll, I'll tell you this again and again. Um, most of us have maybe four or five businesses in us. If we average, normal founder, if you look, if you look at the... Jet, Okay, let me see. Is this yes, better? Is this better now? Are we better? We? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Sorry, say that again. Do bara bolin. Sir, I was saying, could you repeat uh, what you said before? Ha! Huh, I'll just tell you. So, if you look at the if you look at the normal population, right? If we normal population, then yeah, let's say 95% of the world is happy with the way things are. You know, just <laughs> when you say something, when you say something, when you say something, right? So the standard response you hear is what? This is Karachi, this is Pakistan, this is Habib University, right? These are standard responses you get, right? Okay, so you say, nothing can be changed, nothing can be changed. And then there's this 5% of the population, which are essentially what you call troublemakers. Ye are, you know, these are the people who will always cause issues and problems. So, shikayat karte rehenge, so shor machayenge, jo hangama karenge. And some of them, sometimes, they will actually go out and solve the problem. Right? So, Musk is a troublemaker. If you local environment, mein dekhe, so you will have, if you look around, you'll actually find a lot of role models, people who are unhappy with the way things were and they went out to fix them, right? So if you think in terms of ED, right? What was ED's take? He says, the way things are is not acceptable to me, so I will do whatever I can do to fix them. And with that, you know, he sort of, over a 40 year period or 50 year period of service, he built an organization um, that did a lot to change things. So, a standard ban gaya aapke paas. Okay? So now, ye jo 5% troublemakers hai na, which is a small part of the population, is maybe there is a scale. And I'd say about 60% of us have maybe 3 to 4 ideas or businesses in us. And then, you know, there are about 40%, which is where people like Musk fall in, that have multiple businesses, multiple successful businesses in them. Most of us will build one, two, three, four. Just have my example. I have made how many have made here. If you go here, then one, two, 
and teen and there are a couple of others that are not on this list because they were in different space so char bana liye maine and i'm done so if you ask me to take a jawad would you want to start a business again i'd say no I'm not interested if you say would you be a founder i said no take it over no um, don't you don't you have anything in you i said no i'm done finished kaam khatam ho gaya mera so when we when we talk about this specific point some of us want to expand we're not done abhi bhi bhook hai and we say okay i've solved this problem i'm going to solve something else in a related space or in a different market while others may simply say ke acha i've done this i had to make i had to make a point i've made that point now that i've made that point it's time for me to sort of take a rest and go away and do something else with my life right so that's where the so this is the arc from problem definition to exit ye aapki founder ki aur startup ki aur idea ki character arc hai problem definition product market fit scale and then expansion and exit fair enough sir back to question ji sir uh, how do you know when you are like done um done with an idea or done with being a founder um like done being a founder when when one has like three or four or maybe more businesses so how does that person know that that's all uh, i'm able to like, um, how do you identify that now is the time that i should stop or maybe not expand or not think of any new ideas so there's a very simple test and that simple test is you stop caring so as long as you care as long as you feel you will have stuff that you like to build but the minute you stop caring about stuff that you want to do then you're done so you know if i think about myself agar main apne bare mein sochu to mujhe pehle i wanted to do a startup wo kar liya phir i wanted to build a product company wo kar li phir i wanted to have a large organization at least 50 plus employees wo kar liya phir i wanted to have something that do half a million dollars in revenues wo bhi kar liya right I want to sell internationally. वो भी कर लिया I want to travel internationally. वो भी कर लिया right? फिर ऐसे ऐसे आप क्या करना है अच्छा आप जितनी भी जितनी भी ख्वाहिशें थी जितनी भी यू नो इचेज थी राइट ऑल ऑफ दैम हैव बिन स्क्रैच सो ना वो डे वो नो डू सो आई देन सेट कि अच्छा मैं क्या करूँ देन ऐसे अच्छा ले मी फोकस ऑन माई चिल्ड्रन सो लेट्स फोकस ऑन दैट देन ऐसे ओके लेट्स फोकस ऑन माई हेल्थ एंड लेट्स स्टार्ट रनिंग सो आई स्टार्ट रनिंग देन आई राइट एंड आई टीच सो इफ आई थिंक इन टर्म्स ऑफ वट इज़ इम्पॉर्टेंट टू मी ना what is important to me now to teaching is important so i teach and i teach a great deal writing is important lekin kitabon ke sath bhi yahi masla hai ki jaise hum ideas ki baat karte hain na business ki baat karte hain kitabein bhi aapke paas char panch hi hoti hain andar to maine panch likh li i have written five and now every new book i think about is a chore for example i think the first one i wrote you know came out in 2 3 years the next one you know took a year the next one took a year the next one took a year ये जो आखिरी वाली है विच इज फाउंड अपज लुक फोर इयर्स तो नाउ इज बिकम अ चैलेंज टू राइट अ बुक सो वो भी आई थिंक मेरा कोटा पूरा हो गया है बट आई स्टिल इन्जॉय राइटिंग सो आई राइट सो आई इन्जॉय टीचिंग आई इन्जॉय राइटिंग आई इन्जॉय स्पेंडिंग टाइम विद माई फैमिली सो दैट्स बिकम एन इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट एंड आई इन्जॉय रनिंग सो आई रन सो अब अब अगर आप देखें तो माई स्केजल एंड माई लाइफ इज इज फोकस अराउंड टीचिंग राइटिंग फैमिली एंड रनिंग और उसमें जो ये स्टार्टअप वाला पार्ट था या ये जो डॉलर्स वाला पार्ट था या पैसे बनाने वाला पार्ट था दैट पार्ट इज डन एंड दैट्स नॉट बिकॉज आई हैव अ लॉट ऑफ मनी आई डोंट हैव अ लॉट ऑफ मनी राइट बट मनी नो लॉन्गर इंटरेस्ट मी और एक्साइट्स मी सो आई आई कम फ्रॉम बैकग्राउंड ऑफ फाइनेंस एंड इन दैट बैकग्राउंड माई स्पेशलिटी इज अ फील्ड दैट यू मे हैव हर्ड ऑफ इट्स कॉल्ड कॉम्प्यूटेशनल फाइनेंस I build models that solve difficult numerical financial problems right that's my strength that's my specialization that's what I do so I wrote an algorithm that would um sort of optimize a portfolio and make money from that portfolio and I have a couple of friends who run hedge funds and I spoke to both of them they said kaise kaam karo iske sath tum ek simple se exercise karo portfolio ki jo back test kar de uh, which would basically mean you know I'd put some money on it and I'd see how the algorithm actually performed under real market conditions in the market 
And I said to them, the only reason why I want to do this is not because I want to make money from it. It's because I want to see whether the algorithm works. So what's driving me now is curiosity. And what drove me in the beginning, right at the start, was dollars. And there is this big, huge difference here, right? Because you no longer care about dollars. You only care about curiosity. But your curiosity needs to tie in with things that you care about, right? Which is stuff that you're passionate about. So where there is overlap, those ideas you would explore and try. But where the overlap, overlap doesn't exist, then you don't want to explore it. You want to spend time on it. You want to waste time on it. Does it answer your question? Yes, sir. Yeah? So then this brings us to our next point, okay? when should you do a startup? So there's this concept, a Japanese concept called Ikigai, right? And this basically says, this is a Venn diagram. You have read sets. Computation thinking, logic, mein, math, mein, sets, right? Yes, sir. So one part is what do you love, right? One part is what does the world need? One part is what will you be paid for? One part is what are you good at, right? So now think about this for a second. Okay, for example, if I give a teaching, right? So I'd love to teach and I really enjoy teaching, but teaching doesn't give me enough money to pay my bills. So I'm good at it. At least I think I'm good at it. You may sort of disagree at this point in time. Um, and I love doing it, right? But it's not gonna pay enough. It'll pay me something, but it's not going to be enough to cover my bills. I need more. Achha, does the world need teaching? Yes, of course it does. So I'm, I love it. I enjoy doing it. I'm good at it and the world needs it, uh, but I can't be paid for it. So that cannot be my primary focus. I enjoy writing. I, I love writing. Um, I think in the areas that I write, there is need for material. But again, you know, there's not enough money there for me to be paid for it. Now I love building models. I'm really, really good at them. The world needs them and I can be paid for them. But this love wala part is a little bit like this, right? Like 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 so I enjoy building problems. Just like I gave you example, di, ke I wrote that algorithm, right? For making money off financial markets. And the only reason I want to explore that, would want to explore that, is because I want to see whether it works. And I know for a fact, that the minute I find out that it's going, I'll leave it. Because my intent, my rationale, my logic, for taking it on, would go away. If my interest is money, I'll make money. If my interest is that it's not going, it's not going. If it's going, it's okay. It's okay. I'm done. I'm finished. So, for for your perspective, you know, when I said, when should you think about doing one? When's the right time? Is it now? Is it later? The right time is when you figure this piece out. For you, what does this represent? And I'll give you examples, you know, uh, I had students who said, Kiji, I really enjoy building games. I really think I'm sort of in love with the concept of building games. Uh, and that's something that I think is an area or a path that I want to explore. So in case, mein, kya hota hai? You enjoy it. Are you good at it? How will you find out that you're good at it? And can you be paid for it? You can only be paid for it if the game is worthwhile. And is that, you know, does the world need more games? I think it does. I do think it does, right? So, this part, the central part, right? Which is the intersection of, of passion and mission and profession and vocation, right? This is the part that you need to figure out. And I think to, to a large extent, it's not easy. So, all of this, all of this, links back to a very simple concept which is called self-awareness. Who are you as a person? What do you want out of life? If you'd asked me, when I graduated in 1992, all I wanted was money. I'm not in a commercial sense, I just wanted enough for me, my siblings and my parents to be comfortable. Because I came from middle class background and I saw the sacrifices and the hurt and the pain my parents went through to put me through education. So I thought that my mom and dad would be a right? And that's what sort of drove that desire for money. Um, but at the same time, I also knew 
that I liked math and numbers. And that sort of drove a lot of decisions for me. This sort of love for numbers, right? So I think the question you have to ask yourself is, what do you love? And then what are you good at? And I was good at numbers. So it wasn't just that I loved numbers, I was also good at numbers. It's quite obvious. Uh, and it was obvious, I think, I think right at the start, grade nine, grade six, seven, eight, I realized that I'm good at numbers. Um, grade nine and ten, I really fell in love with numbers, right? And then first year, second year, I was sure that I have to do this. I will play with this. So, so figure this out: what you love and what you're good at. And then you have to figure out the next two pieces, right? Which is, you know, is that what the world needs, and can you be paid for it? So it's possible that you've already figured this piece out. That you have done this, this, this. This is the part, right? क्या दुनिया को इसकी जरूरत है एंड विल पीपल पे फॉर इट दिस इज द पार्ट दैट दिस कोर्स इज सपोज्ड टू हेल्प यू फिगर आउट दैट्स वन पार्ट लेकिन इसके अलावा आई थिंक जो एक और इंपॉर्टेंट सवाल है व्हिच इज सॉर्ट ऑफ आल्सो कनेक्टेड टू दिस क्वेश्चन के नाउ और लेटर दिस इज अ रियली इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन डू यू थिंक नाउ इज अ गुड टाइम और डू यू थिंक लेटर इज अ गुड टाइम अभी यूनिवर्सिटी में करना चाहिए यूनिवर्सिटी फॉरन बात करना चाहिए कुछ साल काम करना चाहिए फिर करना चाहिए so should you be a founder right at the start or should you be a founder a few years later so this is now and this is later let's call this a and let's call this b pick one if you a. yeah b Yes. Sir, do what? Ji, Mubin, tell me. Sir, I think that a lot of factors depend on it. I mean, if you want to become a founder directly, banna chahte, then obviously you're passionate about it. But for example, you want some capital and you want to make sure that business thrives, then you go for option B. So, like, both seem plausible. But like, B seems more practical. But it can be that maybe it's just a brown thought that if you want to make money, then the business will go. नहीं नहीं दीज आर फेयर ओपिनियन एंड आई इट्स नॉट एन इजी क्वेश्चन आई कम्प्लीटली एग्री विथ यू एंड दैट्स माय दैट्स माय पॉइंट गट रिएक्शन क्या है व्हाट्स योर गट रिएक्शन ए और बी अब बी ए तो अभी आधा आधा चल रहा है फाउंडर्स फेल तो एज सूनर इट इज दैट एज सून एज एज सूनर इट इज दैट वी फेल एंड लर्न फ्रॉम द एक्सपीरियंसेस इट इज द सूनर वी विल बिकम फाउंडर्स दैट आर मोर मच मोर सक्सेस दैट्स व्हाई इट शुड बी या सो सो अभी आई थिंक आधा आधा चल रहा है अभी हाफ एंड हाफ ए एंड बी चल रहा है सो लेट्स टेक अ स्टेप बैक राइट सो माय माय एडवाइस एंड आई हैव बीन थिंकिंग अ लॉट अबाउट दिस बिकॉज़ आई हैव बीन टीचिंग दिस कोर्स इन डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स सिंस 2003 जब से मैंने काम स्टार्ट किया तो मैं कोर्स पढ़ा रहा हूं राइट सो माय टेक इज ये अगर से आपका आपका पाथ है राइट दिस इज दिस इज यू आर यू आर हियर राइट नाउ इन 2021 एंड लेट्स से दिस इज 30 इयर्स लेटर दिस इज 2050 सो माय टेक इज के माय एडवाइस टू यू माय रिकमेंडेशन इज के ये जो चार महीने हैं आपके पास अभी इस कोर्स में यूज दिस एज एन एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड एक चीज गारंटीड है राइट वट एवर यू डू नाउ एज ऑफ नाउ एज अ फर्स्ट टाइम फाउंडर राइट आउट ऑफ हबीब यूनिवर्सिटी एक चीज गारंटीड है यू विल फेल देर इज अ जीरो परसेंट चांस ऑफ प्रॉबिलिटी दैट वॉट यू कम अप विथ एज ऑफ नाउ इन दिस कोर्स इन दिस क्लास एट दिस पॉइंट इन टाइम विल वर्क इन सक्सीड जीरो एंड यू कैन आस्क मी आप हाउ कैन यू बी सो कॉन्फिडेंट यू वेरली मेटर्स आपकी तो मुलाकात भी नहीं हुई है दिस इज आर फर्स्ट क्लास हाउ कैन यू से हम सबके सब फेलियर हैं या हम सब सबके सब डूब जाएंगे कैसे कह सकता हूँ मैं ये बात वे इज द डेटा वट इज बैकिंग अप द स्टेटमेंट सो आई थिंक एक बड़ा जो एलिमेंट है वो बड़ा एलिमेंट ये है कि देखिए फेलियर इज नॉट अ बैड थिंग राइट वी जस्ट डिस्कस दैट अर्लियर डूबना तो हर एक ने हर कोई मैं भी डूबा हूँ बहुत दफा डूबा हूँ हर कोई डूबता है 
तो आप भी जब स्टार्ट करेंगे तो डूबेंगे राइट इस लाइक यू नो आप अगर किसी बच्चे को साइकिल पर बिठा दें पहली दफ़ा जिंदगी में उसके तो आपके ख्याल में वो गिरेगा नहीं गिरेगा ना एंड लर्निंग टू बिल्ड अ बिजनेस इज बेसिकली लर्निंग हाउ टू राइड अ बाइक और लर्निंग हाउ टू स्विम यू नो फर्स्ट टाइम यू सॉट ऑफ जंप इन द डीप साइड ऑफ द पूल वॉट हैपन यू ड्रिंक वाटर और यू डोंट ड्रिंक वाटर अच्छे वक्तों में जब पूल खुला हुआ था अभी यूनिवर्सिटी का प्री कोविड आपने कितना पानी पिया पूल का पिया है ना अनलेस अंडर यू बिन यू अनलेस अंडर यू बिन सॉर्ट ऑफ स्विमिंग फॉर अ वाइल वी यू स्टार्ट स्विमिंग फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम यू वॉन्ट ड्रिंक वाटर स्टार्ट साइकिल फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम यू वॉन्ट फॉल एंड ब्रश योर नीज सेम थिंग विथ यर द फर्स्ट टाइम यू स्टार्ट यू वॉन्ट फेल राइट सो अभी देर इज नो ऑब्लीगेशन कोई आपसे पूछेगा नहीं बेटा करके आ रहे हो कोई आपसे कहने का बेटा डूब क्यों गया राइट कोर्स इट्स एन एक्सपेरिमेंट सो एज एन एक्सपेरिमेंट इन दैट कोर्स ट्राइड आउट एंड यू गारंटीड फेलियर बट दैट कॉस्ट दैट हैज दैट हैज जीरो कॉस्ट आपके पैसे नहीं डूबेंगे आपकी जिंदगी बर्बाद नहीं होगी आपका टाइम जाया नहीं होगा इनफैक्ट अगर आपने अच्छी तरह से अच्छी तरह से डूब गया नहीं डू गुड जॉब ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंटिंग इट राइट यू वुड बी एबल टू सॉर्ट ऑफ गेट अ डिसेंट ग्रेड ऑन इट ग्रेड पे अच्छा मिल जाएगा आपको तो पढ़ाई के तौर के ऊपर एज एज अ लाइव रियल टाइम एक्सपेरिमेंट यू रन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड बिकॉज यू फेल दैट फेलियर इज गोइंग टू टीच यू सो मच मोर देन एनी थिंग दैट आई कैन एज अ टीचर और इंस्ट्रक्टर तभी डूब जाए और फिर डूब के इसको पार्क कर दें एंड देन सम पॉइंट इन टाइम वी डोंट नो वेन बिटवीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एंड ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी just like i found out ki my propensity my appetite my capacity for bearing ambiguity and risk had improved to a point that i want to try something out you can then try it out but ye jo aapka shuru ka bhi ka experience hai right um, and you know wh- what are you geared for you're not geared towards success you're geared towards failure you're saying ye dubega so my whole point is i'm going on this journey on this tour of this unknown space and place that we've all read about but i'm going to sort of explore for the first time on my own and see where that goes and phir dekhe kahan jata hai does that make sense sir i have a question ji boliye um sir uh, maybe you you already answered this in the lecture but mere zehen mein sawal aata hai ki how would you try to fail You don't have to try to fail. You, वो आप डूब जाएंगे आप दरवाजा खोलेंगे एंड आप डूब जाएंगे And the funny part is the lowest score in that class was eight thousand. Okay, but did they fail? No. So, so, so there are two parts, right? One part is that did they fail the course? No, they didn't fail the course. We have said that your grade is going to be a function of how close you get to the mark, right? But then what we did was that we also changed the grading criteria towards the end of the course, and I said that the traffic component. is a part of your grade it's not the entire grade but how well you describe the problem how well you solve the problem um how well you present it how well you executed on it all of these are factors that will be evaluated and graded it won't be just the traffic amount to ab ab situation ye hai ki agar aap abhi ka curriculum dekhenge to abhi ke curriculum mein there is a grading rubric i'm not sure if it's there in the syllabus but i'll share it with you later uh jo ye kehti hai ki depending on so traffic is not the only component you know your ability to define the problem your ability to explain it to pitch it your ability to go out and engage with customers your ability to sort of ensure that i as in your judges can hear the voice of the customer can understand the pain of the customer what you're trying to solve if i have full clarity around that all of these are factors of the grade right so we've changed that so they didn't fail now this is one part But the second part this is a really important part. Is the team that got those two hundred forty, two hundred fifty thousand ideas, or oh sorry, two hundred fifty thousand views, was really serious. They wanted to explore that as a real viable business idea, and they spent the next eight nine months working on it, and that failed. 
So they aced the course. They got a terrific grade in the course. Their launch video was phenomenal. They got terrific traction on it. But when it came to execute the idea, and it was a very interesting, very useful, I think very timely idea for that point in time, for a long list of factors, you know, they weren't able to get to traction. So they passed the course, they aced the course, but they failed the, the, the concept, the idea, the project failed to get to a stage where it would be a viable business. Did that answer your question? Yeah, that sounds amazing. Okay. All right. So, so my, my view right now and my, this, and this is a view that keeps on changing, right? My current view right now is that this university is in your pass. It's me. I have liability, no obligation. And I, I know you'd hate me for saying this. If you really want to find time to start a business and launch a business or start something, um, and you're really, really passionate and you care about it, right? And you're mad about it, right? You would find time. You'd be surprised how much point, how much time you would find. And then with that, you would possibly have this experience, this exposure behind your back that you could always rely on and look back on. Because this is a failure, this is generally very traumatic. So if you have a control condition, which is, which is, let's say this course, so the chances that you will not have damage from that trauma is, are actually quite nice. But if you do this for the first time, much, much later in your life, your trauma is going to be much, much higher. And the damage you do to yourself and to your wealth and to your net worth and to your family is also going to be higher. All right, Ji. So the question is, what's the right motivation? If you do think about becoming a founder, what's the right motivation for being one? Money, fame, Glory, anger. Ji Mubin. Sir, I think it's a textbook se thoda sa relevant lag hai, kyunke you can either be an entrepreneur through need, which can be by accident, or if you are being an entrepreneur through some sort of purpose, which is giving some sort of convenience or some sort of benefit to society. So purpose is a really important word. Purpose is a good word. And purpose generally links to empathy because you want to solve a problem or a need or address a challenge or an issue. Uh, sir, uh, what do we mean? Sir, one by one. Sir, when you yes. okay, okay, permission to speak, sir. I think, money, face, minute, guys, I think there's somebody, there's some, kisi ka mic khula hai. Haan, aap bole. Ji, aap bole. Ji, bole na. Can I speak? Yeah, I was asking what do we mean by anger over here? Okay, I'll address this. This is one. Uh, I think somebody else was also speaking. There was someone else who was trying to speak. So, so when I talk about anger, anger is essentially... Uh, yes, sir. I was, I, I was telling something that when you, when you talk about money, fame or glory, right? Yeah. These are very temporary things. You can get them without even like, re taking your startup to the end. But when you are truly angry about something or you feel for the problem, you don't actually care about money, fame or glory. You actually end up in solving the problem if you really care for it or you have that anger like but this problem makes me angry and yeah. I have to do something about it. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. So if I if I, if I I look at personally, right? Anger, key definition is that you see something around you that needs to be addressed and solved and there is generally a very strong personal connection and the only way to solve that problem is for you to do something about it. Uh, let me give you an example. So I have three children and my youngest is Taha and Taha will mashallah turn 16 years old in February. Uh, Taha is on the autism spectrum, autism spectrum, right? So what does that mean? Autism spectrum basically means that Taha has delayed learning milestones. He's what you would call a special needs child. So I remember this conversation I had with a friend of mine and he said to me once, you know, there was a time when alchemy was struggling 
एंड ही सर कि यार तुम्हारे तुम इतने पढ़े लिखे हो तुम्हारे इतना एक्सपोजर है तुम्हारी एक्सपर्टीज की इतनी वैल्यू है तुम अगर आज ये सब कुछ छोड़ दो और तुम बाहर चले जाओ तो यू कैन ईजली अर्न हाफ अ मिलियन टू मिलियन डॉलर्स अयर तो वाई आर यू स्टिल हियर इन पाकिस्तान वाई डोंट यू लीव एंड आई सेट टू माई दैट पॉइंट इन टाइम कि यार देखो फॉर मी माई फैमिली एंड माई चिल्ड्रन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड ताज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट राइट नाउ एंड ताहा डजन नो हाउ टू राइट ही इज आई थिंक उस जमाने में आई थिंक ही वॉज मे बी अबाउट टेन ईयर्स ओल्ड और इलेवन ईयर्स ओल्ड ही डजन नो हाउ टू राइट एंड इफ आई लीव इफ यू लीव एज अ फैमिली I know for a fact that I may end up with a couple of million dollars in my bank account but my child will never learn to write because jo support network mujhe yahan pakistan mein mil raha hai for taha wo mujhe pakistan se bahar nahi milega so for me any amount of wealth is on one side and the ability for my child to write to speak to engage to be a productive functional citizen where he can earn a living on his own is far more important I don't want to have tens of millions of dollars in the account and my son to not even speak or write. Uh, but I'd rather be poor and broke and for the heart to write, right? So the heart learn to write. And that's his writing. And this writing is I think from when he was about 14 years old. He's got much better. He does math right now. He's doing physics, he does algebra, he can write a three command program in scratch. We've taught him how to write. programming not not programming programming but he's sort of getting there but he started he's gotten to a point where he can do all of this and all of this became possible because we started a home school for taha at the basement of our office so he has a couple of teachers he has two more friends do bachche aur hain jo taha ke sath taha ke school mein padhte hain and the school is called taha school and taha school will turn about 5 and a half years old now but how did taha school start ताह स्कूल स्टार्ट बिकॉज जिस स्कूल में तहा जाते थे उनके स्कूल के प्रिंसिपल ने हमसे कहा बुलाया हमें उनसे कहा कि वी कान डू एनी थिंग विद योर चाइल्ड आप इसको ले जाएं और कहीं जमा करा दें दीज वर एग्जैक्ट वर्ड्स कि अपने बच्चे को ले जाएं और कहीं जमा करा दें हम कुछ नहीं कर सकते और इसका कुछ नहीं हो सकता ही हैज़ नो फ्यूचर सो वेन यू से दैट टू पेरेंट्स ऑफ अ चाइल्ड राइट एंड यू नो बोथ मी एंड फाजी बोथ ऑफ अर टीचर्स एज एन वी वर्क वी फंक्शन वी रन बिजनेस we work as technologists but we've been teaching i've been teaching for 25 years fazis been teaching for 25 years right both of us were teachers and we said ke how could you write off a child and yes we understand he has issues we understand he has challenges we understand he's struggling we understand he has special needs but that's the whole point of a school the whole point of a school is to help bachas grow It is not to give up on them and you know fazi and i sort of sat down and fazi said ke i'm going to look at more schools as you you look at more schools i want to start a school hamare paas jagah hai niche basement hai usme hum you know jagah bana lete hain do kamre ban jayenge hamare paas do kamre hi honge it won't be a school school but it'll be two rooms and all we need are teachers and this was 5 years ago so from that we got to a point and because of the school you know to a large extent because of the school because of the teachers because of the support that we got from them from the therapist that we work with the learn to write so when we go back to anger this is what anger means you refuse to accept the answer that this is pakistan that this is karachi that this is habib university i was actually said this, this somebody said this to me you're not at stanford you're at habib university i said i don't care <laughs> i don't care whether it's not stanford you know you have the potential to be just as good in fact much much better than students at stanford and i will you know god help me god help you i'm going to make sure that you get there i'll take you like kicking and screaming and dying to that point in time but i'll take you there right so that's anger does that answer your question yes sir all right So now how do you learn the subject you learn the subject by getting your hands dirty which to our mind is failing failing by doing what by launching trying to launch an idea in the real world this is r e a l so in the real world right 
देर इज नो अदर वे सो मैं आपको चाहे कितनी किताबें पढ़ा दूँ कितने असाइनमेंट्स करा लूँ कितने क्वेजेस करा लूँ इफ़ यू डोंट लिटरली वर्क विथ एन आइडिया फ्राम स्क्रैच टू द पॉइंट वे यू लॉन्च इट राइट सो यू गो फ्राम जीरो टू लॉन्च एंड देन यू नो ऑबियसली वी नो कि जब आप लॉन्च करेंगे तो सम ऑफ यू में एक्चुअली गो फर्दर एंड गो हायर मोस्ट ऑफ यू विल फेल इनफैक्ट ऑल ऑफ यू विल फेल राइट बट दिस फेल इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू बी अ मार्क और अ स्टेन दिस फेल इज असेंशली एंड अटेम्प्ट टू टीच यू हैव टू हैंडल फेलियर फेलियर ऑफ लॉन्चिंग अ प्रोडक्ट और एन आइडिया और अ कॉन्सेप्ट रियल वर्ल्ड एंड कुछ 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 मैं एक्चुअली भी लकी इनफ टू गेट टू अ पॉइंट जैसे रोलाक था विच वॉज द टीम दैट वन द टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी थाउजेंड व्यूज राइट कुछ मैं एक्चुअली टेक इट फर्दर टू मैन एज सिक्स सेवन एट मंथ्स और सो एंड ट्राई इट आउट एंड दैट्स ऑल्सो फाइन राइट बट द कॉन्सेप्ट इज कैट जब तक आप ये नहीं करेंगे आप ये सीख नहीं सकते तो अगर आप सीखना चाहते हैं दिज ओनली वन पाथ फॉरवर्ड नथिंग एल्स आर आई जी अच्छा एक सवाल जो आता है वो अक्सर आता है विच इज अराउंड इनोवेशन बट दिस वील एड्रेस आफ्टर द ब्रेक सो लेट्स टेक इट्स ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक राइट ना जी एमन बोलिए सर जैसे आपने अभी क्लास में पहले भी कहा था कि फर्शोरस के आप यू नो के ये आइडिया आप फाउंडर बनने जा रहे हैं बट यू नो यू गोइंग टू फेल बट अगर आप ये एटीट्यूड रखोगे कि नहीं होगा यार अभी तो फिर नहीं होगा आपसे फर्स्ट थिंग इज यू नीड टू हैव दैट बुक एंड देन ऑन दी अदर हैंड वी नीड टू एक्सेप्ट दैट कि वी आर गोइंग टू हैव फेलियर्स एंड वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न टू दैट तो हाउ डू वी लाइक मतलब a person can handle both of them like keeping in mind that you are going to fail but at the same time keeping having that will power that ho jayega so that's a really really smart catch even i'm very 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 very, very, very happy that you caught me and called me out on that <laughs> that's a good one all right so when i say you're going to fail i'm saying your first attempt is going to fail now you may find it in your heart to try again and again and again and again till it actually works right so yahan pe agar aap ruk gaye this is your first failure this could be your second this could be your third this could be your fourth where is very much possible this is the one the fifth one is where it actually takes off and when i tell you ki ji you're going to fail i'm saying ki we failure to is like part of the cycle right it's remember thesis build try repeat thesis build try fail and repeat right same concept here so what we saying is we saying try kare there is a reasonable chance that the first iteration will not work and if you want to stop that that's fine because the idea was just to give you a flavor check ke dekh le aap right aapne check ke dekh liya if you want to move forward feel free to move forward and try again and then try again and then try again till it works so for those of you who sort of so example i'll give you example um you heard of trash it uh, yes sir yes sir yes sir so you heard of yeah, yeah, anusha right yes sir. so anusha also came out of the same course she came out of i think i i think she was either the first batch or the second batch right and she's been at it and she's mashallah gotten a lot of traction and she's you know grown by leaps and bounds and she's done mashallah very very well now she's not gotten to a point where she can write a million dollar check uh, as an endowment to habib university right but inshallah she'll get there and because she's been at it she's very diligent she's very hard working she's very focused so there is an example there is an instance of all the students i've thought uh, anusha is one who has gotten to a point where i'd say that she has a viable business it's a hard business very difficult business but she's done well with it So does that answer your question? Aman? Yes sir. Yes. So what we saying is ki yes, try karke dekho ek dafa do dafa teen dafa try karke dekho if you want to stop that's perfectly fine there is no shame in that. Um and if you want to sort of move forward that's also fine. Um and you know it's very much possible that you are a trashet or an anushe uh, you are the exception that proves the rule. All right? Okay so with that let's just take a quick 10 minute break let me see what time it is right now uh it is 
इट्स ट्वेल्व ओ फाइव ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन वी मीट अगेन सो हम सवा बारह बजे दोबारा मिलेंगे और सवा बारह बजे वील स्टार्ट द क्लास अगेन राइट सो टेक अ गुड टेन मिनट ब्रेक आई एल जस्ट म्यूट माई सेल्फ बट द सेशन विल स्टे ऑन सो यू कैन यू कैन सॉट स्टे लॉकड इन जस्ट कम बैक इन अबाउट टेन मिनट्स इज दैट फाइन आई वी ओके दैट Yes, sir. All right, sir. so Sava Bara Bajee exactly. Let's come back. <laughs>